A rate conversion like this is really just a pair of unit conversions that are happening together. So if you remember all those bits where you like convert mils to liters and convert um, days to years or whatever it is, you're just doing a pair of them simultaneously. Okay. Now we'll just comment before we actually start doing this that you probably use your calculator for the vast majority of these and that's totally okay. However, wherever you can avoid it and do some bits without your calculator, I think that's smart. Number one, because it sort of flexes your muscles and makes you quicker at these and more efficient, more accurate. And secondly, your calculator is a great tool, right? But if you don't use it properly, it's just a tool and it'll give you the wrong answer because it's giving you the right answer to the wrong question, okay? So you have to be very careful with how you use it. And if we can do this without it, which in fact, for this particular question, you can, um, you're gonna be much more an advantage. So here's the way we're gonna begin. You start with the rate that they give you, and then you think, okay, well, I need to get to here. So the first thing is, am I going to smaller units, or am I going to bigger units? In this case, I'm going to smaller units. So all these numbers are gonna get larger. The units are smaller, so you got lots of them. Does that make sense? So in order to help me do that, I'm gonna write this as a proper fraction because people often get confused, right? When they sort of try and do it all in one line. So I've written it as a proper fraction and I've also said per day is for one day, right? There's actually a number implied. So now I can start to climb down um, Ant-Man style into smaller units, okay? And it's a very good movie. And um, I'm gonna go down as far as I need to until I hit the units that I'm actually after, okay? So in the case of the numerator, that's really easy. How many grams are there in 7.2 kilos? It's going to be 7,200 grams. So that's really good. I've already done, like I'm already in this unit. That's fantastic. But for the next one, like I don't know about you, but I don't have memorized the number of minutes there are in a day. So I've got to go down a couple of steps. What's the next step after days? hours, right? So there are 24 hours. Okay, now what's really helpful here is rather than like continue to make your numbers bigger, right? Because they will get bigger. As soon as I've written this, I see I could do some simplifying, right? 72 divided by 24, that's a quite a nice common multiple actually. It's just going to be 3, okay? So 300 grams is, what I don't know, moved, eaten, consumed within one hour. Does that make sense? You see how I've divided everything by 24? And then I just climb down one more step that will get me to the one I actually want. Yeah, so 300 grams per how many minutes? 60. 60. And so you can see I can cancel one more time. 300 divided by 60 is... Oh, you're, you're, you're upside down, yeah? So I can think about, okay, cancel, cancel, some zeros. And then I've got 30 divided by six. How many sixes in 30? There are five of them, right? So now that I've got a final answer, five grams per, there's only one minute left on the bottom. So I'll just say five grams per minute, okay? What happens if you don't have such nice numbers? So if you don't have such nice numbers, at some point here, you're gonna reach for your calculator. Like if it was 30 divided by seven, I'd say, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Or you could just leave it as a fraction, right? Um, but in this case, like you'll find you get nice numbers like this very frequently because we're trying to see, like, dealing with icky numbers is not what we're trying to focus on. That's not the skill that we're after. The skill we're after is like, can you understand how these units relate to each other and then sort of climb down the ladder or climb up if I'm going to bigger units, okay? So that's the important bit and the numbers are less of an issue. So when you get to the conversions, this is the way I'd set it out. Don't, don't skip over like all of these units, they're an important thing, right? So don't just write numbers, 